uh, entertainment tv today is the 7th of uh, december uh, 2022 remember guys to like share comment and follow so guys here's the latest garden to uh, load shading the government has put uh, measures in place to ensure that there is uh, continued power generation at various power stations across the country this was said by the secretary for energy and power development gloria magombo while I was speaking to the media after tuesday's uh, cabinet meeting she said various measures were reported to cabinet which have been put in place to ensure that there is a continued power generation and supply demand gap which has increased due to the loss of the 300 megawatts one of the first strategies is to ensure that the current units which are generating in wange continue to be maintained and optimized to ensure that they produce an average of 400 megawatts to ensure energy supply security over and above in the long term over 400 million US dollar was secured to, to improve our capacity in Blau and Wange. At Wange Power Station, the life extension project started with Unit 5, which has been out due to challenges with its turbulence earlier this year. We've also been ramping up production for the small thermals in Blau, Arare, and Munyati to push them to 45 megawatts. Coal suppliers are currently being expedited, and there is a train with over 30 wagons to power stations to ensure that there is more production. Zimbabwe is currently experiencing an electricity crisis caused by frequent breakdowns at Wange Thermal Power Station and water shortages in Kariba, which supplies water for the Kariba Hydro Power Station. Minoya Magombo said the new 300 megawatt Wange Unit 7 is expected to be synchronized to the system by the end of this month. She said Unit 8 is also being developed in Paro and we expect that it will be commissioned during the first quarter of 2023. She said an additional coal plant at Wange going through maintenance should be running soon, thus adding an additional 15 megawatts the national grid. According to the Zimbabwe Power Company, ZPC website, Zimbabwe was generating 494 megawatts on Tuesday, 6 December 2022 against the peak demand of 2,200 megawatts. And so guys, that's the latest here in Yaima Gates. So we're going to have a lot of shading until next year, January or February. We don't know, but um, the government is trying by all means uh, to ease uh, power shortages across Zimbabwe. And it's going to affect our Rwanda and with uh, Zimbabwe, my business is because my kuna magiz, magiz in Antwo Shanda, my business is and uh, so we hope that um, all those measures they are planning or all those measures they want to implement uh, can be done as soon as possible because as you know, we have mira at the moment and uh, because my guests are going to 22 hours a day so we are going to have a lot of time we are spending a day or two days with my guests so guys i'm going to keep you guys in the loop regarding to any new information because this is a very very serious 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 situation that the government needs to look into daily news breaking news everyday news on prince mila entertainment tv remember to like share comment and follow follow us everywhere instagram facebook our facebook page is a prince mila entertainment our facebook group is a prince mila entertainment tv We're available on instagram also on our twitter handle at a p mila ent follow us like share comment bless up thank you